look at some of our national and international headlines for this Tuesday morning, June 27th, 2017. The Trump travel ban is back on. The U.S. Supreme Court at least partially lifted the block on the order. They say they're going to revisit it in the fall, which means that now we're going to see another mad scramble for more rules to prevent the travel of primarily Muslims, because it is targeting these Muslim countries coming into the United States. For whatever the pros and cons of it, the fact that the Supreme Court has lifted the block on the order this means a bit of a victory for the Trump administration. Bahrain is now accusing Qatar of military escalation after Turkish tanks were seen rolling through Doha. This happened over the weekend. The general tension in the area continues to rise as the other Gulf states have put a blockade on Qatar, and Turkey has been increasing not only its aid but also its military presence there. Relatives of EU citizens are going to be given permanent residence in the UK under the new Brexit migrant rights plan. And the Theresa May government now has the support of the DUP. Conservatives have agreed to a pact which includes giving money to Northern Ireland. Philando Castile's mother has reached a nearly $3 million settlement with the city that whose police officer shot him to death. As you recall, Castile it was a law-abiding gun owner who had a permit to carry a gun. He was pulled over for a minor traffic violation, and he was shot by the police officer. The aftermath, of course, was shown on Facebook Live, and a number of people been protesting, but not the NRA. Six people dead after a tourist boat sank in Colombia. They have no idea why. It had fewer people on board than the occupancy, but it went down very quickly. A U.S. passenger on a flight to Houston tried to open the door. She was subdued. She apparently had caught the attention of people on, actually before she even boarded the flight from LAX over to Houston. She was talking about how the government was mistreating her while she was pacing the aisle. And then when she tried to open the door, they finally jumped on her and restrained her for the rest of the flight. The Jewish diaspora is angry now as Benjamin Netanyahu has scrapped a plan that would have allowed mixed prayers at the Western Wall. The idea to allow men and women to pray together at the Wall is something that has been talked about by uh, what you might call liberal groups. The ultra-Orthodox faction who actually runs this holy site says, uh, no, that's not allowed, and so the plan has been scrapped. The HMS Queen Elizabeth, the newest aircraft carrier for the Brits, has just barely squeezed out of the dockyard for the first time. And they're saying the Russians are here watching the boat. So it's being heavily escorted, lots of other boats with it as it's going out to sea. Now, this article that I saw here published a lot of the specs of the aircraft carrier including photographs, so I'm not sure what they're concerned about the Russians seeing that the public hasn't already seen. Meanwhile, a Russian submarine has successfully test-fired one of the Bulova intercontinental missiles, and this happened there in the Barents Sea. A lot more stories than we have the time to address here in a short video. If you'd like more, become a subscriber at RadioFreeSpeech.com, and I will email you 30 to 40 minutes directly to your inbox audio form. You can download it or upload it whichever way you go to your device and listen on the way to work. One last story I'm going to mention, and that is Edward Snowden has had a new series of tweets bashing the new CIA chief's focus on leakers. Basically, uh, the the new CIA head is saying we need to stop the leaks. Snowden points out, hello, the leaks are there to protect the public. That'll be my subject of commentary. I'd love to hear your point of view. Send me an email, steve at radiofreespeech.com.